As I mentioned on the channel a few months ago, NEO is going to import its cars to America, the United States. How are they going to do this? And how are they going to get around the 25% import taxes that were put in place by the Trump administration? And they are going to get around them. This is how they're going to do it. And these are the NEO electric car models you can expect to come to the United States. They've got a lot of different models. I'm going to tell you what they compare with in Tesla's range and show you their new models that are coming out soon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back, everyone else. Fantastic to see you. Let's get right to it. Neo will build a plant in the United States. Neo has already leased a huge facility in the US which I reported on months ago. And at that time, I reported on the fact that NEO, yes, would be selling its cars in the US because of the job listings it had posted. It posted listings for people to sell NEO cars, right? As if you're going to work under the job of selling NEO cars in the US and somehow sell them in China. It was obvious, right, that NEO planned on having some sort of facility in China where they would remanufacture NEO's cars or just assemble them and then sell them to US customers. To be very clear, NEO has not publicly stated what they plan on doing. However, it's very evident from what we're hearing from China that they have decided to enter the North American market. They are now hiring for people in North America to sell their electric cars. And experts say they are going to do this in one of two different ways. Either their plant in the US will adopt a CKD completely knocked down or an SKD, a semi-knockdown form of production, said local media, citing an industry source. In other words, they believe someone that works from NEO has told the media what's happening. So NEO is hiring for positions, including overseas manufacturing, campus planning specialists, body process specialists for overseas projects, overseas planning and infrastructure specialists, and overseas logistics project managers. Now, NEO's just job description in the US, one of them, is for the campus planning specialist, and it requires candidates to have been responsible for two or more complex master plan projects with at least one of those happening in the United States. Now, candidates for this position, notably, must also be familiar with and understand US state policies, design codes, planning submission processes, and be familiar with US process planning and master plan principles. Chinese media say NEO has the intention of building a plant in the United States. Currently, NEO actually has a self-driving R&D center in San Jose, California, as well as a software development team working at the same office. In addition, NEO is hiring planning and infrastructure specialists in San Jose, and requirements for the position include candidates with knowledge of regulatory processes in the industrial real estate industry. Now, for those of you wondering, NEO's vehicles are currently produced at the JAC NEO Advanced Manufacturing Base in China. And the company's second manufacturing plant in NEO Park in the central Chinese city is currently under construction. This new plant will be a factory where only NEO produces the vehicles. JAC won't play a part in it. At NEO Day 2021 on December the 18th, William Lee, who's the founder of NEO and the CEO and chairman, said the company will enter Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden, and Denmark this year. And then he went on to say that NEO's goal is to serve users in more than 25 different countries and regions around the world by 2025. Clearly, the US is one of those countries that NEO plans on entering, and it makes sense. It's one of the biggest car markets in the world, with around 15 million cars sold there every year. So what cars do NEO currently have? that would be available likely to US consumers. NEO currently have eight different EVs that are either in production or planned for production within the next 12 months. The first of those though, uh, yeah, hard to know what's going on with that one. The EP9. This was NEO's first car. It was presented the same day that the brand was launched. And it's absolutely mental. It has a motor. An electric motor on every single wheel. So it's got four motors. Each motor has 250 kilowatt, giving the car a total of 1,000 kilowatt of power, which is one megawatt. 
Thanks to the whole car being made pretty much only of carbon fiber, aside from the battery and a few other things, it's actually quite light. It weighs 1,700 kilo and it has a removable battery. So it's kind of cool for racing because rather than having to charge the battery up, the battery can just be removed, a new battery can be put in and a car can go again. Now, amazingly, this car can actually drive itself around a racetrack at a very fast speed. However, it's not road registrable. Only 17 of them have been sold in China to private buyers, and none of them have been driven on the road because it's illegal to drive them on the roads. So probably not very likely you'll be able to get one of those anytime soon, I'd say. The cars that NEO currently sell include the EC6, the ES6, the ES8, the ET7, and their upcoming models include the ET5, the ES7, and the EF9. So what are all these models? Well, the EC6 is a mid-sized electric SUV, very, very similar size to a Tesla Model Y. So that gives you an idea of the sizing of that car. Price, pretty similar as well to the Tesla Model Y. The ES6 is essentially like a, a coupe SUV version of the EC6. So similar in size to the Model Y, but of, of course the back is kind of rounded over. And then the ES8 is Neo's biggest electric SUV. That's a similar size, in fact, a little bit bigger than a Tesla Model X. The ET7 is Neo's electric sedan. It's a large car. It's even bigger than a Tesla Model S. It's about 10 centimeters longer than a Tesla Model S. And this is a brand new car. Deliveries for this vehicle only started in March of this year. The EF9 is an upcoming vehicle that's coming out this year, apparently. It's an electric minivan. Now, we haven't seen what this thing looks like yet, so I can't show you what it looks like. So we'll move on to the next car, the ES7. The ES7 is a vehicle that will slot in between the ES8 and the ES6, and it'll be about 4.9 meters long, so a little bit bigger than Tesla Model Y, a little bit smaller than a Tesla Model X. That'll mean that Neo will have three different electric SUVs, and all three of these are only 10 centimeters different to each other in terms of overall length, 4.8 meters, 4.9 meters, and 5 meters. Now, the new Neo ET5, which was just revealed recently, will come with a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. Absolutely enormous. It'll be a semi-solid state battery pack. That battery pack will have an incredible energy density of 360 watt per kilo. This means the car will have a drivable range of around a thousand kilometers. And I, I think that's realistic. If you think it's a 150 kilowatt pack in a vehicle of this size, fairly aerodynamic, it's a sedan, massive pack with that kind of energy density, more than likely you will actually get a real world driving range of over a thousand kilometers from that car. And these battery packs are legit. They're going into mass production this year. So that's going to be really exciting to see. Now, obviously, it's going to take a little while for Neo to begin production or to begin assembling their cars in North America. But this is the way they can get around paying the Trump tax, the 25% tax on EVs that come from China, assembled or disassembled to whatever degree is necessary to meet the rules, and then have a car assembled in North America. It actually makes a lot of sense, I think. This is going to give Americans a lot of choice, a lot of choice with EVs, because, I mean, they have so many different models, as you've just seen. There's the minivan, there's the two different sedans, there's the three different SUVs. And all these cars, you've got to say, international media have said that they're very impressive. They've gotten rave reviews, most of them. It's definitely vehicles that are worth considering. And honestly, I'm kind of excited for you guys in America getting to, you know, get the choice of having more EVs to look at when you go out to check out which new car you want to buy. You're going to be going here, what car will I get? There'll be the Tesla, there'll be Neo, there'll be BYD eventually. There's going to be, you know, Hyundai, Volkswagen, Lucid, Rivian. The list is going to go on and on and on and on. It's really exciting times to be alive right now. And frankly, this is a model I think a lot of other Chinese automakers will copy. They'll say, well, Neo can do it. So can we. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.